This is a very special snake to me. This was the very first Lou I'd leucistic ball python that I ever got back in the day when these guys were out. These are worth so much money and she's been so special to me. She's produced so many eggs. She's getting up there. She's gotta be 12, maybe even 14 years old. And she's probably produced somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 clutches. So let's go ahead and see what she's got under here. Looks like some beautiful eggs and she was bred to this beautiful super pastel hidden gene Woma. Now the hidden gene Woma stuff actually miss with the lesser like a super lesser like this actually produces some amazing babies. And look at those pearly white eggs. Pearly white snake. Absolutely incredible. 100% fertile clutch. I could not be more happy. This girl is so amazing. She's done such a good job. I swear she's been a rock star ever since I've had her. I love her to death. Let's go ahead and get these eggs in the egg box really quick. Mama will get you cleaned up and we'll get you back on the food in no time. Yeah, two, four, six, seven beautiful eggs. We're going to be cutting these things in about 58 days. Let's get them in the incubator. Holy filling up down here. Got a long way to go, but clutch number 15 goes right here. We check on them maybe every three or four days, but I'll circle back in this video in about two weeks to let you know how things are going. No, what are you doing? Feed my fish. You know, we haven't gotten something for that in a long, long time. You wanna go buy some fish? Yeah, let's go get some fish. Can I get two of the fish fillet sandwiches? Mike, wrong fish, man. Can I get a large fry? Dude, that black and yellow spot. That's, that's what they call a trigger fish. Oh, look at that gun. I think that's a little big for our friends though, no? I think I might get a little too big, yeah. It's a good idea though. I like where your head's at. Thanks. Just the halfway point on the blue-eyed leucistic bred to the super pastel hidden gene Woma. And guess what? We still have two, four, six, seven eggs. They're still cooking. They still look absolutely good. That's a good size. Still have 27 more days before we get them to cut. But hey, when you get this far in, typically you don't lose eggs after that. It's usually the egg loss happens in the first 30 days, not so much in the last 27, 30 days. So far, so good. We'll check back in another 26 days. Bro, you see that fish? You see that? That's a goby. A goby? Firefish goby? What do you think this is? Fake. Oh. Look at the little Kobe Bryant fish. You want to fry? You got sauce on your shirt. Damn it. Oh. Uh, look at these. Can we get these one? Yeah. Look at this little crab or something. Yeah, the sea anemone is the thing with the little frangelies. Dude, look at that eel. Whoa! It's like a zebra eel. No flake. Moray. moray. It's a moray, dude. See, that's awesome. Dude, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's it's a moray. I don't know that one. It's the night of the 56th day after the eggs were laid. All the eggs look absolutely incredible. We still have two, four, six, seven eggs. So they all made it full term. Tomorrow is the day we get to cut these guys. I just love this blue-eyed leucistic female girl. Interesting soul sucker type of stuff. So one more sleep. I'm going to be dreaming about this clutch. Wake up in the morning, go to the and shop, finally get a chance to see what's inside these eggs. What do you think this one tastes like? Probably better than that. Whoa, look at that thing with the legs in the back, man. Oh my god, it's a sea star. We used to play with these in the Virgin Islands. So when are you going to lose your Virgin Islands? You don't lose them, they're on the map. You know that one size is all the same? Huh? That's an anemone. So where's the crap? Oh, should we get a bird, Noah? Yeah. My mom loves birds. She'll love it. You just finished the fries? Yeah, you want one real quick? Thanks, man. I wanted like one more. <laughs> look how inquisitive this beautiful bird is. So what just kind of bird is it? Like his eyes, it, it, it seeps intelligence. What do you see when you look into my eyes? Yeah, so the bird is a... Uh... And it's the morning of day 57 on the Blue Eyed Lucistic Clutch. So these eggs are coming to the shop. We're going to go ahead and cut them, but I'm actually going to do a bonus clutch too. There's unfortunately only two eggs left in this. It's actually a lorry ball pike that bred to a super lorry leopard. There was six eggs in the clutch. Four eggs went bad, which is kind of a bummer, but we're going to go ahead and cut them because again, we could get super lorry, super lorry leopard. Who knows? We have another bigger clutch coming. I think of like 10 or 12 eggs that were lorry leopard to super lorry leopard. That's the really big clutch that I cannot wait to cut. Nevertheless, we're going to take these two clutches over to the Reptarium. Go ahead and see what's inside. Dude, turtle ram, bro. I wonder if you can get some sick tricks, bro. Turtle deck. Explosion. 
So we are looking to add a few things. The Haitian pink tips there, clownfish will generally avoid. And these you would have to actually feed separate because they're non-photosynthetic. Bubble or long. Which one is he dancing around in right there? That is the bubble tank. Yeah, let's do one of the bubblers and then uh, two of the cleaner fish. And then we'll see, let's see if we get anything out. This is daddy's money. <laughs> Their primary diet are usually like copepods and just small crustaceans that live in the water. And the name cleaner shrimp comes from the fact that they will pick parasites off the fish. Beyond that, they're kind of general scavengers. Well, you can just touch them? Yeah. I thought you got shocky poop. Yeah, I thought yeah, you got it's doing it. Stung, but these have a stronger sting than others. These ones really don't. Look at the clownfish is trying to bite him. <laughs> <laughs> can we get one that stinks really bad? Cause that'd be fun. Wow. Now we also put him, or that, into the, the drip bucket too. Yeah, the we'll that as well. And that's how you get her off, Mike. Oh, I get it. <laughs> like, get her off the side. Dude. And the time has come. Be the fact that it's a blue-eyed leucistic, that just means so much to me. It's actually a Russo lesser pastel hidden gene wool moth. The potential for, like, soul suckers. So we could get Russo soul suckers. We could get real soul suckers, which are the lesser hidden gene wool moth. We'll just have to wait to see. This is the first egg. Let's see what's inside of it. And right off the rip, we have a beautiful little animal here. Looks like it is a Russo soul sucker, which is the lelic, right? So basically, the hidden gene wool moth and the Russo, as well as the lesser, are a lelic. The proof what Kevin McCurley over at Nerd called soul Soul sucker. So right after we have a soul sucker, possibly a pastel soul sucker. I think it looks like a pastel soul sucker. Nevertheless, that is a beautiful snake and a great way to start. We still have two, four, six eggs to go. I tell you, I am loving this. And of course, later in the vlog, you guys are going to see these guys hatch out, and then ultimately after they shed, see what they look like too. Which is really that dramatic look, right, between the actual ali egg and then after they shed. Let's get into egg number two. Let's see what we got here. And again, that female is just so special to me. And this is just actually a pastel. Russo animal, so it doesn't have the hidden gene Woma in it. You breed two Russos together, a Russo to lesser, it's in that blue-eyed leucistic complex. You get blue-eyed leucistics. Egg number three. And remember, stick around because we're also going to cut those couple eggs that are Lori to Super Lori Leopard. What do we have here? It looks like, again, another soul sucker of sorts. Yeah, probably a pastel Russo soul sucker right there. So we haven't got any lesser stuff yet, but it looks like we've got two Russo soul suckers. I don't know if anyone else has came up with a different name of these guys are not because it definitely is weird to say soul sucker but nevertheless that's what kevin mccurley called them and that's what i'm calling them so so far we've had some pretty good odds let's go ahead and go on to egg number four here we go egg number four boom Ooh, this is a nice one right here. oh my gosh take a look at that guys look at that animal right there Ooh, doggy that thing is beautiful Nice silvery cut. That is the lesser soul sucker. So you see the difference between the Russo soul sucker and the lesser soul sucker. And this is actually a pastel lesser soul sucker. Wow, look at that animal right there. Ooh, doggy. Now that is the ripper. There's no doubt about it. That's awesome. And last year we did the same breeding. We hit none of those. So it's cool that we finally hit one after two years of the same breeding. Okay, on to egg number five. I certainly wouldn't complain if we get another one of those lesser soul suckers. Let's see what we got. Uh oh, guess what? what we got another one of them all right we've got another lesser soul sucker a pastel lesser soul sucker on that so we've had two pastel lesser soul suckers and what looked like two pastel russo soul suckers i tell you what we're crushing it that's cool and we have two eggs left to go touch it i'm super excited about that lori to super lori leopard class. i cannot wait to see what's in those eggs okay here we go gosh let's just end this thing good i tell you what i am so happy about what we've gotten so far so okay what do we got here we'll just set this down kind of move it around a little bit Looks like we got another pastel Russo right there. Not the hidden gene Woma. But so far we're doing good. Four of the six eggs have been there. The Lelic hidden gene Woma. One egg to go. You guys know I love to end things on a good note. So let's let this last egg be an absolute ripper. And away we go. Come on, be something amazing. Yes, we did it. Another pastel lesser soul sucker. These guys are so amazing. Three of those little monkeys right there. I cannot be more happy. Like I said, these guys will crawl out of the eggs in the next day or two. You're going to see it here in the next minute or two. And then we'll let them shed out the end of the vlog. Even though we only have two eggs, we have Lori to Super Lori Leopard. This is the first time we've ever had a Super Lori Leopard father of clutch. So let's see what's in those eggs. What? What kind of stuff do you think they're into? Uh -huh. Bug stuff. Two cleaner shrimp and a C n n n n n n It's not my money. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, trash can for our crabby fish sandwich. All right, and we're back here with our cleaner shrimp, two of them, and then a little bit of. A n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n n
Just look at that. Oh, here it comes already. Your dad's over here sucking on it and stuff. There it is. I don't know what you're doing. Keep doing that. Keep going. I'm trying to get the air Keep out. going. So this is going. Do you mind watching this for a couple minutes or for 30 minutes? I got a, uh, I got a business call coming in. I'll be right back. Business call. And again, I was certainly disappointed that we had six eggs in this clutch and only two of them made term, but right off the rip, there's actually the four eggs I was a little bit concerned about. So I was happy that at least two made it. So theoretically, if the Super Lori Leopard is the father, which hopefully is, is the only one we bred this year, everything should be Lori. The fact that it's a Lori female means that most of them, three out of four should be Super. And then of course the Leopard is of course one out of two. So theoretically, who knows what we're gonna get. But I sure hope it's gonna be some Super Loris and Super Lori Leopards. I'm nervous, guys. These are the first ones of the year. Let's see what we get. All right, here we go. All right off the rip, what do we have? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, oh, it's rolled over. It's rolled over, I can't see what it is. Hang on, I'm gonna see what we got going on here. Try to roll this thing over. Oh, you wouldn't believe this, guys. It's just a lorry ball python. So no super lorry, no super lorry leopard, no leopard, no lorry leopard, just a lorry ball python. So that's bad odds right there. But we got one more egg. Let's hope this is a super lorry leopard. Come on now, this has gotta happen. I'm so bummed that it was just a lorry ball python, but that's part of the way this game goes let's go ahead and cut this one come on super lorry leopard come on super lorry leopard let's see what you have a big egg too isn't it okay well we definitely oh you gotta be kidding me right now we had two lorry ball pythons not even super lorries unbelievable no lorry leopards no super lorries no super lorry leopards we got two normal lorry ball pythons that's absolutely crushing when it comes to the odds but that's the way it goes we'll still show you when these guys hatch out here in just a couple days till then uh we'll fast forward a couple days Where's Noah? I specifically asked him to stay here and watch him while I took my business call. Where's he at? Jeez. Uh, life's hard as a businessman. Curtis, you flush. It's Noah, where you been? I told you to watch this while I took my business meeting and you're gone. Well, I had a business meeting. Oh, business meeting. Um, you got a little something there in your sleeve. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> Thanks, man. No problem. So all the babies finally hatched out. I always love when this female has eggs. That's so special to me, right? So look at all these amazing animals. These are just literally pet russos, or what they call russos. You breed these two together, you get blue-eyed leucistics, of course. And these two here are pastel hidden gene woma and hat russos. Basically what they would call a russo soul sucker. And then of course these monkeys here. This is actually just what they would call a normal soul sucker, which is a lesser and a hidden gene woma. They're allelic. They make this beautiful kind of purplish, kind of grayish animal. And then these two here actually have pastel in them too. You can see they're just a little bit more faded when you put them together this one has one shade darker right here and these guys have the pastel and absolutely wonderful so we're gonna go ahead and get these guys set they'll shed out here the next you know four five six eight and we'll show them to you as soon as they're shed out we're gonna move the fishies in the, the tanky <laughs> mike you <laughs> why'd you do that you are the idiot it's gravity fed and you put the end up and go you watch it, this you put it down no you put it up <laughs> Come on, out the net, out the net. Oh, uh oh, did they chase him? They, but they left. Clownfish are not clowning around. Oh fuck, he was not. You're not gonna get stuck. Stop moving the thing. Look at it, it's waving around like a freaking napkin. That's what sea anemones do. We have to peel it off the bottom of the bucket. Just like a very fine sticker. And if you rip it, you kill it. Don't do that. I can't even get my grubby little fingers underneath that seal. Mm -hmm. Mike, smell my finger. Yeah. What did you stick it in? That's her me to know and you to find out. Here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> oh, is she coming? She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. I'm gonna come. Uh, uh, oh my uh, God. Uh, 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 Don't uh, gentle. It's not floating away, so it must have grabbed on, right? All right, Dad. What do you think? You see our anemone? It looks kind of weird. It looks like it's upside down. Yeah, it is. Do you think it'll flip right upside up, or is it just gonna die? It wasn't exactly like that when we put it in there. Oh. And then there's two other uh, cleaner shrimp in there now. One's in the back. Oh, uh, yeah, I see it. It's cute. That's awesome. Yeah. How much does this cost me? Uh, seven hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> 
And of course they all shed out and there's some absolutely beautiful animals there. This is actually what they call a pastel Russo soul sucker. So the allelic between the hidden gene woma and the Russo and then pastel added to it. And here's another one of the exact same genetics, but each animal looks a little bit different, which makes it cool. It's just called polymorphism. Absolutely incredible. This one's really beautiful. It doesn't have as cool a genetics behind it. It's just a pastel and a hat Russo or what they call a Russo, which of course, if you bred with another Russo, would produce white snakes. Then this is the first full on soul sucker because the blue-eyed leucistic girl that I love so much is actually a lesser and a het russo that produces the blue-eyed leucistic. Some of these animals are lessers and when you get lessers and the hidden gene woma you get what they call soul suckers which I absolutely love. And then this is the exact same animal but just adding pastel. So this is a pastel soul sucker and we actually produced two of these ones. Absolutely incredible. And I love showing you guys the difference between when they first hatch out and when they actually shed out because that's when their true broody absolutely comes out. Speaking of out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, is this man? Sorry. You can't do that. What the hell is <laughs> <laughs>